This is Denver Police Department case number 2008-158995, the murder investigation of Charles Rhodes, which occurred on March the 12th, 2008 at 1329 Valencia Street. Charles was shot twice and he was pronounced dead at the scene. I ain't no snitch, but what happened to Charles Rhodes? In the heart of Denver's East Colfax neighborhood, where neon lights flicker against the darkness of the night, a sinister tale unfolded one chilling evening. Charles Rhodes, a well-known figure in the community, had always been a prominent businessman. His charming smile and affable demeanor masked the shadows that lurked beneath his polished exterior. On March 12, 2008, those shadows emerged, casting a pall over the entire neighborhood. <laughs> It was my son, and this killer is still out there. He's a murderer. He's walking around Denver just as though he haven't done anything. On March 12, 2008, at approximately 3 a.m., the Denver Police Department received a 911 call about a person being shot in the 1300 block of Valencia Street. We believe that Charles was walking in the neighborhood believe that he had just left a 7-Eleven store uh, not far from where he was found. He got into an altercation with the suspects. This is where we believe the altercation first started. We believe the suspects were in a vehicle and Charles was on foot and he continued on foot northbound on Valencia Street. We believe Charles ran from the intersection to this residence here at 1329. We believe he attempted to make contact with the residents. He was unable to, and he was shot as he came off the stairs. As Charles walked towards his car parked down the block, a figure emerged from the shadows. The street lamp flickered, casting eerie shadows across the pavement. Before he could react, a gunshot shattered the silence, echoing through the night like a grim omen. I knew that day that knock at the door, knew. I was on the phone with my mother at lunchtime when a Denver police officer and an advocate from the victim's advocate came. It's just a voice. Your son is gone. Your son is gone. Why she was on the phone with me, she said, Sheila, they found Charles dead. This is something that no mother ever wants to hear. He knew Charles was unarmed, but he hated him that much. He wanted to take his life, and that's what he did. And I'll never forgive him. Left him out there on that filthy ground. Then once you knew you had killed him, and then you keep on putting bullets in him. I want justice every day. Whatever justice smell like, I want that. The next morning, the sun rose over East Colfax, but the warmth it brought couldn't dispel the chill that hung in the air. Charles Rhodes lay lifeless on the sidewalk, a pool of crimson staining the concrete beneath him. The community was rocked by the news of his murder, and whispers of speculation spread like wildfire. It's been eight years, but of course it feels like it's been eight minutes. That's how it's been for us. This is a hell that my mother and all of us have to live every birthday, every holiday, every day. I think a lot of people know a whole lot. They heard the screams and the gun fire. <laughs> he cried for his life. <laughs> We believe that someone out there knows what happened to Charles. This was well publicized when it happened. We had a billboard up on East Colfax asking for information. We didn't get any calls. We need a tip. We need someone out there to contact Crime Stoppers. One phone call could break a case. This is a killer. This is a cold-blooded one. And knowing all these years that I've suffered, I want them to pay. To this day, the murder of Charles Rhodes remains a dark stain on the history of Denver's East Colfax neighborhood. 
But amidst the shadows, there is still hope for justice. I ain't no snitch, but if you have any information about this crime, you can report it anonymously to the Metro Denver Crime Stoppers by calling 720-913-STOP-7867 or visit the Metro Denver Crime Stoppers website at metrodenvercrimestoppers.com for more information. Your tip could be the key to finally shining a light on the truth and bringing closure to a community haunted by the specter of a murder long gone, but never forgotten.